I'm probably going to have to do bloody Pythagoras' theorem to figure out which is the best piece to take out from this. What's good, YouTube? It's that time of the week again. It is Vault Day where we open our vaults and then carry on with our lives as normal. You'll notice that I didn't get a weekly vault video out last week. That's because I was on holiday. So I actually opened my vault on Thursday and I thought you guys wouldn't appreciate a day late video on the vault opening. This week, though, however, we have smashed it. On the Hunter and Druid, I have completed... I tried to press down and it didn't work so I wasn't tabbed into WoW. Um, I have completed 16 plus 20s between these two characters. I also got a pretty much full heroic clear on the Druid. I didn't kill Raz because I still haven't got ahead of the curve because I'm a filthy casual. But I think we are going to start with the Hunter today first. Excuse the horrible graphics. I think my PC is on its way out. So that's unfortunate. Looking at about 5 pixels on my screen altogether. So yeah, we got three slots that are going to be 421 to choose from for the Hunter. So that is exciting. I am excited. I have four set now for both of my characters, finally. In like whatever week we are in now, like probably week 10 or something. Also, I know you're wondering, just ignore this overall here. It's just what I do, all right? It is what I do. Plus 20, Alcathar Academy last night, timed. 110k overall as the Beast Mastery Hunter. You don't see that every day, do you? Beast Cleave, Kill Cleave, Kill Command. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording, which is a complete L. So, yeah, who knows if it's actually true. But no, we smashed that key. Um, always play better at night. I don't know why that is. So let's check our loot spec here then. We are Beast Mastery. We've also got the Trading Post quest. We get 500. So does that mean we can get some Transmog or Mount straight away? That'd be pretty pog champ. So, we have full set. We have 421 puzzle box. We have the bow. I realized very late last night that I should have cleared heroic on my hunter as well, just to get the chance at the 418 bow. But I've kind of been laying off the hunter recently. Although I played it last night, and obviously this overall, once again, the overall. Guys, look at the overall. Um, the, I've been enjoying hunter again. I don't know if it was because I've gotten more health and more gear, so I'm surviving more. Because the damage is pumping. We do the pumpage on the BM Hunter. I haven't played too much MM since the new patch. Kind of cringe that we lost double tap, I'm not going to lie. Doesn't seem to be too much of a damage nerf, but it's definitely a fun nerf, shall we say. So, for this week, what could we get that we would be happy with? I guess it would just be the off pieces. We got a 402 belt. I fully upgraded these, two 418 rings, I mean we could do with a nice trinket as well. But with trinkets, again, I don't even know, I have pretty unreal trinkets. I've got 408 current technique, which is like best for BM, with leech on it as well. 421 puzzle box, we also have a 415 windswept pages. Uh, what else have I got? I've got a whetstone and a grief torch, I don't really use those too much anymore. Just because the Grief Torch is low item level, I probably should still use it, especially in Pugs, but I'm not a huge fan of it, honestly. So yeah, let's just open it and see what we get and we'll run with it. I guess maybe the uh, ring off of Aeronog. No, I haven't raided. I haven't raided, never mind. Ignore me. Let's see what we get. Let's just see what we get, all right? All 21 bow. Irrelevant. Because I have the Razageth bow. That would have been nice. But it's got verse on it as well, so it's not actually that nice. I mean, it might be nice for higher keys, but we're not going to take it anyway because we'd lose too much bloody damage uh, from not having the Rasbo. We might take the 382 tier gloves that we've got at 408. I think I've, got, I've still got two pairs of the 408 gloves for some unknown reason. I have these braces at 402, so it definitely could be an upgrade angle there. And then what is this belt saying? 421 crit mastery I would lose the haste that I need there but I could always substitute the haste in somewhere else those would be nice though as well although they don't have crit on but the rest of my gear has a lot of crit on it like I'm at 36% crit probably could do with a little bit more crit there a little bit oh, just a little bit more of everything honestly um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly sim these two pieces of gear. I mean, we'll sim... I, no, we won't even bother to sim this because it's just not going to be an upgrade and I don't want to lose the Rasbo. I think you'd all kill me in the comment section. So 
I'll be back after I've simmed and we'll see how it goes, see what piece of gear we're going to take. Right, so we are back and just like I thought, it's looking like a bracer angle for this week. However, it is also telling me that I want to equip this cloak instead for a bit more haste and mastery. I think I'll have to run a few more sims with like the different cloaks and different types of fights as well because I feel like I'm losing a lot of crit for this, but we will see anyway. So we're going to go with the bracers, haste mastery 421. So that's like a pretty best piece for me. Um, I am going to be leaning more towards playing BM, so I don't mind taking the haste that I wouldn't use so much for MM. So we'll whack them on. Where have they gone? There they are. So 421. We're now 410 in bags and 409 equipped, which is lovely. 35% crit, 20% haste, and 41% mastery. Like I said, I don't. I feel like I could use a little bit more crit. I'm unsure on that, but for Mythic Plus, I feel like haste and mastery, their values become a lot more substantial so yeah that is the hunter for this week it was always going to be a bit more boring i guess ideally i could have probably got a jeweled signet of melandrus uh but i would have had to replace a crafted piece also now i have 1.1.8 k valor and i can get another 750 so i could fully upgrade pretty much either my cape my belt and that is it i think for as far as upgrades go my tier is kind of low item level, honestly. So this week, we'll try and get like a chest piece. Or Actually, to be fair, I might have a piece of my bags that I can turn into tier. Yeah, and then upgrade that fully. So that'd be nice. Get some more item level. But yeah, other than that, I don't know. For trinkets, I maybe could have got an icon. I, I think that's... I think it's great for pretty much all specs, isn't it? But we have some tasty gear on the BM Hunter at the moment, I will say. And that is why I do so much bloody damage. But yeah, we're 409... Pushing that 410 mark, we should get this this week. So we got a lot more health, and I also need to whack some enchants on this. I think I need to put Watcher's Loam on that as well for the stamina as well. But yeah, let's hop on over to the Druid. The Druid should be a lot more interesting this week, to be fair. Again, I've got three choices at 421 piece. So let's log in and see what we can roll with. Ideally on a Druid, I probably want a Trinket because I have a Ruby Welp Shell, but I'm not too impressed with it. I don't think I've fully trained it yet. You can see that is the last thing that I did last night. Let's uh, ignore that overall, actually. Um, that's the last thing I did last night before logging off was train my Ruby Welp Shell. So we could take a Ruby Welp Shell. We could also take a 421 final grade. That would be bl bloody lovely. But then... Honestly, with the Druid, we pretty much have like best statted gear. It's just the item level that's lacking. Like we got haste mastery here, haste mastery, haste mastery, haste mastery. I got two pieces with crit mastery on here because I feel like you, I don't want to just dive all into haste mastery. I've got a 415 rage feather. So knowing my luck, I'll probably get a 421 rage feather, which I can't complain about. But I mean, I'd like a bigger upgrade elsewhere. So let's send it. We're in the balance loot spec. <laughs> and let's see what we get on the old druid, shall we? Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Is that a weapon? That is an offhand. Crit versus leech. That is not ideal. That is huge. But we have... We're a lariat gamer. No. That's not fair. What do we have here? We've got a 421 cape with crit haste on it. Oh, God, dude. This is kind of cringe, honestly. Um, I mean, that would be my biggest upgrade. I guess maybe I could go with this. It's got leech on it. it it's pretty horrible stats, honestly. But it's a lot of intellect. And then I could create a 418 main hand. I feel like you're trolling if you don't use a lariat because of the embellishment and the sockets. I don't know if you can put three sockets on another neck piece or if you can only do that on the lariat. I do feel like you can do it on any neck piece though. Um, God, this is a tough decision. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a few sims on this. I'm probably going to have to do bloody Pythagoras' theorem to figure out which is the best piece to take out from this. I know that obviously I'm not going to take that. I don't take that either. Um, that is also trolling. So it's going to be between one of these. I feel like I would be trolling again if I took that when I have a 418 Lariat. 
It might be a weapon angle with a 418 crafted main hand. Because I also love the dagger and offhand aesthetic. It's got leech on it as well, so that is nice. And then crit haste. Like, ideally, I want mastery on, like, most, if not all, my pieces of gear for Balanced Druid. But let's run some sims, and then I'll be back after we've ran the sims, and we will pick probably a socket. Right, so we have ran the sims. This is so much more stressful than it needs to be, honestly. Um, so, this is not the play. Because I could just create a 418 staff with my bis stats on it. And then that would be better than a main hand bis stats with this cringe statted offhand. Even though it's 421 with the leech on it. This is just a complete L in comparison to the Lariat. I don't even know why neck pieces are still in the loot table in Dragonflight. I don't know though if you can actually use an embellish the Lariat embellishment on a different piece of gear. But then you wouldn't have the socket so I don't think that works. So we don't take the Wolfstride Pendant, even though that is some juicy stats for the Balanced Druid. It's looking like a Cape of the Duskwatch angle, unfortunately. I even checked just then to see what, if I uh, turn this into tier from, or tier from the Catalyst, if it would be better stats, but it is exactly the same stats, if not worse, because it just has more crit on it and less haste. I think we take this anyway. It's a, it's a nice, what, like 23 item level upgrade. So it's not all bad, but it definitely could have been a lot better. And even if we were just able to change the stats on this, this would have, that would have been perfect. Um, so yeah, we're going to run with the Cape of the Dusk Watch, I think. But we have got this week, so I have... <clears throat> where are my sparks? I've got two sparks, and I think I can get two more. So we'll spend two sparks on creating a weapon a two-handed weapon i kind of messed up by spending 1000 valor on upgrading this to 405 because like i said i can just craft a two-handed staff with the same stats on it and i don't have to waste the valor and it would be three eye levels higher than the max mythic plus one would be so i think that is definitely on the cards we'll equip this cape that we just got so that takes us up to 405 407 in bags this is what our stats are looking like in moonkin form if it once it loads there we go 34 percent mastery 21 percent haste and 15 percent crit so it's not all doom and gloom i definitely need a new trinket that's for sure ideally i'd probably get an eye of scovold see why couldn't we have just got a 421 eye of scovold or an infernal writ i would have taken either of them we can upgrade some of this gear this week with this with these great stats on it so we've got that i also have the bis statted braces as well I ha these are haste mastery too, but they're not as much mastery, I don't think. So these might be the play for the upgrade with Valor, but I'll have to see on that one. But yeah, as far as the Druid and Hunter go, I'm like, it's such a hard decision to make with which class I actually want to main and push keys with. Balanced Druid, I'm going to have a lot easier of a time because it's just better overall. But I have been enjoying the Hunter and obviously a lot of my content has been on the Hunter. Even if I committed to one of them, I wouldn't leave the other one in the dirt. But yeah, it's just a difficult decision to make. Because like I've always main Druid. It was my first character when I played back in vanilla. And I've always played a bit of balanced Druid here and there. But I've also been loving the Hunter. And the Hunter is also another class I've played a lot of as well. So we'll have to make the final decisions on that this week. I'm about 2.6k rated on both of my characters. I'm, I'm just above 2.6 on the Hunter. Just because I've been playing it more. But as you can see, we've timed like two chested a 21 SBG last week. Timed a 21 court, which was lovely. Tw uh, 20 temple. So I need to get all these up. I mean, I still got a 15 fortified ruby life pools and 18 on the knocker defensive. So that'll have to wait till next week. But we'll bump up the tyrannical scores on this week. And then we'll push for 3k on the druid, I reckon. It is just going to be an easier time to do it on the Druid, especially in getting invited to pugs as well. People aren't going to like hunters in their keys because they know we all just fall over. But yeah, guys, if you like this video and you want to see more of these vault opening videos, whether they're disappointing or not, then please feel free to drop a like down below and also subscribe to your boy Vesperal TV. And until next week or the weekly vault video, I'll catch you guys later.